Hello, welcome back to Digimon World. Center. World. I nearly said Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Hello, welcome. because it starts with welcome D. Welcome back to Dragon Ball <laughs> World. And given the end of the last That's episode, the game they gotta do. Dragon Ball World. It's like an MMO, but in within the Dragon Ball universe. <laughs> I thought you meant like you have to train <laughs> up your like train Son Goku <laughs> and train up like, Goku take and him to the toilet. All the characters <laughs> feet and eat and eat and eat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> they eat Dragon Ball Sims. <laughs> oh dear! On that bombshell, <laughs> it's time it's to continue. To, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's a bombshell these days. Yeah. It's like bombshell inflation. Well, see, seeing as Top Gear has been axed, yeah, we, we can we can we are it. we are it. <laughs> we, we are we are taking the bombshell and making it our own. <laughs> and on that bombshell. <laughs> Uh, I'm really pissed off about that because like, yeah, the series hadn't finished. <laughs> but aren't they shut? They, they are shut. They're going to show, or they have shown the last two. Have they? Did they? I've read somewhere that they're meant to be. Oh, well. Anyway, and we'll never get to see the race between the three supercars now that oh, I was looking forward yeah. to. <laughs> it's, it's just the fact that we're never going to see it again. It's yeah. gonna be like oh. it's just Sunday night. Yeah, top goes on. There's never anything on it's Sunday not night. <laughs> no, there isn't. They'll have to move Doc True to Sunday. They're that's, gonna they're gonna do something else what, though. The three of them. They're, they're but, gonna do something yeah, else. But the BBC have basically lost one of their biggest things now. Definitely, yeah. What are they gonna do? Struggle on just Doctor Who for twelve we well, weeks yeah. in a year? So <sighs> what else big have they got? Uh, well, Sherlock, but sure. they come yeah. up once in a blue moon, don't they? <clears throat> Next one's not for, like, another five years. No. Um. <laughs> uh, no, but have they got anything that, like, they, they have every year of part of East Benders? Well, they did have things like Atlantis. Um, uh, what's it called? Merlin's finished Merlin's now. Merlin's gone, but yeah. There's, yeah, but th those sorts of stories, there's fancy ones. So, like, Atlantis was the la latest one yeah. of those, but that was cancelled. Um, so all they've really got is EastEnders. <laughs> yeah. Casualty. <laughs> Casualty. Hmm. The voice. The voice. <laughs> Yay! Which <laughs> still makes me think of an ITV show. Yeah, it is, because they're just trying to be the X Factor. Yeah. That's all it is. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah. They haven't got anything. Yeah. Shame, isn't it? They're gonna, they're gonna try and do something like it. And it's I gonna think, fail. I think they still own the rights to produce and broadcast Top Gear, so I, they're, they're most likely reruns. gonna try and find new producers. Yeah, they're still showing reruns on BBC Three, for example. Well, that's... Although BBC Three is getting scrapped as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, but even if they do another Top Gear, it's not gonna be the same. No, it, it really isn't. Watch it. it really isn't. You might get the odd diehard fan of Cars that will watch it just because it's Cars, but yeah. You're gonna lose over fifty percent. It's like how Top fans. Gear USA isn't the same. You speak to fans of Top Gear who are American and they, they watch the they British prefer, one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's not. It's so yeah. I mean, as I said, the the, the three of them, the three presenters, are going to go and do something else. Of course they are, because of how successful Top Gear was. They mm. have offers up, coming out their ears. Yeah. But I just hate the idea of watching something with adverts. <laughs> uh... You know, like, it, it yeah. works really well as an hour-long show, that, doesn't it? I mean, I suppose with the structure of the show, it makes it quite good for Because adverts. it is segment, segmented, yeah. yeah. And so you're not going to get, like, a segment cut in half by an advert. You can have segments either side yeah. of the advert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing. My hope is, because when, when they show Top Gear on Dave, they have to cut a load out to fit it in the hour slot, don't they, amongst the adverts? Mm. But my hope is that if they... If they go to a rival channel... Or Dave and... buys the rights to it, like they do with Red Dwarf. <laughs> yeah. That'd well, be pretty sick. They're owned by the BBC, aren't they, Dave? Yeah. Um, well, there we are. Okay. Uh, BBC Worldwide, so the commercial, uh, the commercial yeah. arm. Yeah. Um, yeah, my hope is that if they go to a rival channel with adverts, the because it would be such a big money spinner for them, the adverts won't be very long, because yeah, they, get... they can charge so much for the adverts. Yeah, a couple of adverts. Or yeah. Them. That's my hope. My my biggest fear is that they go to Sky, which is what everyone thought, because I don't have posh telly and I won't yeah. be able to watch it. No, <laughs> Unless you go online. I'd have to torrent it or something. <laughs> Not that I would, obviously. No. <laughs> 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 and Christian 444 was never seen again. 
<laughs> just, just seconds after you've set, even said it, we haven't uploaded the video or anything. We haven't finished making it. There's just a <laughs> at the door, <laughs> sirens outside. <laughs> <laughs> SWAT team, American SWAT team. Yeah, go, go, go! <laughs> you know, like, just the ceiling opens up and they're dropping down from like the flat above. <laughs> it was you all along, <laughs> actors. <laughs> uh, everyone's actors. <laughs> Time to be start this nonsense. Let's go to two hours. Anyway. <clears throat> Oh, you mean you may? Yes. Yeah. It's quite funny. I mean, I've heard, um, I've heard people say that because you know, uh, um, various ISPs block torrent sites and so forth. Yeah. What I've heard is that you can circumvent that by translating the website in Google Translate. Uh, what, just translate, translate it from Slovenia or something to English and it just comes up and you can navigate it like yeah. normal <laughs> well and I found like certain browsers as well or I've been told that certain browsers oh yeah yeah it's like well. when you were doing some research for that paper you were writing about yeah, um, yeah about I, I, was, I made yeah. a documentary for college yeah. about it yeah <laughs> <laughs> And um, basically, cert certain like the mainstream browsers like Google will block some of them, but mm. use a different browser and no, you, right. can, you can you can get through. I didn't realize browsers block them as well. I so I, I suppose it's that I've, I my friend only I don't know how many I've has it on a tablet, them. so <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and my my friend's got like four separate browsers on his tablet for different reasons, anyway. <laughs> yeah. So. Just throw them off. <laughs> well, like, certain porn websites anywhere come. Oh, like, right. you can't install oh, on mobile yeah, or yeah. something on yeah. Google Chrome or something. It's, yeah. That was Top Gear Torrent that, well, Porn yeah, that Review. Was, that with, was quite the... Uh... <laughs> quite the review there with yeah. Christian... That is what it's called. That was quite the review quite there the with review. Christian 444. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. We could do. We should do a consumer program, a consumer help program. <laughs> we, we should just do something where we review random stuff. Definitely, it's quite. I mean, uh, it's, it's what ninety percent of this <laughs> channel is. <laughs> it's I've, I've, got, I've it's gone not. in there again with that reference about things being quite sturdy in a terrible Indian accent, and I, I challenge my viewers again to get that reference because I'll be so impressed if someone does. <laughs> at, at what time we got to go to? Um, I don't know. Wait, just before two hours or so. Okay. I thought we were... Didn't we start like quarter past? No, that was the one before. Okay. Yes, it definitely was the I one can't, before. I can't remember. No, it definitely, no, it definitely was. He just went on such a rant then. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Uh, top torrent gear. Top torrent gear. Top torrent gear. That's, that's, what, that's, that's what it could be called. That's what it's going to be called, yeah. <laughs> just... just... Or we could call it Torrent Freak because that name's not taken. Ah, is it? <laughs> no, no it's probably. It definitely is. <laughs> Big Torrents. <laughs> Big. A torrent. Of... Torrent and Philip. <laughs> 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 if only one of us was called Philip. <laughs> that, or someone out there, whoever, whoever runs these torrent sites, make a torrent site called Torrents and Philip. That, <laughs> it'll, it'll, it'll just be such an epic name that even the people shutting down these torrent sites are sort of like, oh, I, don't I can't do it. it. It's, it's too clever. <laughs> Only if they like South Park, though. Yeah, true. <laughs> Everyone likes South Park. <laughs> <No. laughs> well, really not. <laughs> I've met plenty of people that don't. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone who is important likes Yes, them. exactly. Anyone who matters. <laughs> yeah. I remember that's like one of those scrolling um, LCD LED screens you get in uh, odd, the odd board games. Yeah. A little hard work never killed anyone important. <laughs> <laughs> never killed anyone who wasn't a pussy. <laughs> I think that's three. I've lost count again. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> Counting to three is such hard work. <laughs> I see you've got the claw monster there in your hands there. It's called a claw monster, even though its primary weapon is a hook. <laughs> or it's, it's it could, I suppose it could be. I suppose like yes. Claw. There's a hook on the end of its claw. I like to think of it like that. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> holds pretty well. Yeah. Turn the feet. 
people at home have no, no. idea. But yeah, it's like you got knuckle dusters as well then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like that. No. That's actually one of it's my like that and then it folds up like a cat. So, but it's, it's a Lego Bionicle thing, right, for the benefit <laughs> of the tape. It's actually one of my favourite things I've made, even though it's so simple. But I think that's why it's my fav one of my favourites, and that's why I've kept it there all the I, I, I would say you could pop up a picture for them, but you're never going to do no, that. No, I'm never going to do that. Because it, it's literally, it's just a face, some legs on a hook. <laughs> but it fits together so nicely. Yeah. Well, you could, you could imagine it as something in something. Yeah. That's... Like a little gr the gremlin thing. Like it's like the sort of thing you have to kill by the starting area of, a, yeah. of an MMO. <laughs> well, it's, it's 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 like the foot soldiers of like the Power Ranger yeah. guns or something. Yeah. Just get like fifty of these guys that can be taken out with one punch. Yeah. <laughs> and then the big boss arrives. The big boss. Big bad. Big bad boss. Big blood. bad boss man. My big, big bad boss blood. Yeah. In it though, bro and yo. Yeah, yeah no. It do. You do. Yo, you, do. you get me though, innit? They like, right. Mm. Do, 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 do. Derek had a double boss. Digimon. Do, 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 do. Dojomon. 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 You and your Digimon come to my dojo mob for some training. Ah. <sighs> I've back. I've been oh. leading forwards. I've been so excited oh, about Digimon. <laughs> this is that on the edge of the sea. Digimon, yeah, yeah, Digimon, man. <laughs> I got excited about Monzimon. I never looked back. <laughs> Warrior Monzimon, sorry, the black one. <laughs> Probably been one of our more energetic batches. Oh, definitely, definitely. Mm. Is, is this not? Is this? This is the first batch we've done since I've come back to YouTube, isn't it? It is. Yes. Yeah. When did you come back to YouTube? I just said yes. A couple of months, about two months ago. Sort of thing. <laughs> oh. And then, so like since then, yeah, I've gotten a lot yeah. more energetic because I've been rather energetic yeah. in my own videos. You get into the groove of it, don't you? Yeah. Like I, I started up the Nuzlocke again yesterday. Started recording it. I only did two episodes because I found I was just umming and eyeing at the end. Whereas yeah. before, I'm usually getting into my groove by the uh, by two yeah, episodes. Yeah, you, mm. you've, you've got you've got to try and get that groove, and you've got to try and keep mm. the groove going. You got yeah. Can't can't lose your mojo. Don't want anything to throw off your groove. And no. you have them thrown out of a window. <laughs> Otherwise, you have to do what the emperor did and find a new one. Exactly. No, it's anyway. Beware the groove. <laughs> Groove of Christmas past, <laughs> present and future. <laughs> the free grooves of Christmas. I'm going to take this opportunity to thoroughly recommend, because this is quite the review, um, <laughs> to recommend The Emperor's New Groove. Because oh, it, it, yeah, it, 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 it's not a Edward. film that is very well known, to be honest. Isn't it what? The Disney no. one? No. Really? 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 What? Yeah, so I'm going to recommend it to everyone at home. It's yeah, very, very good. Yeah, definitely. If you, if you haven't watched it, watch it, because we will hunt you down and gut you like a fish if you don't. Yeah. And it's, it's like, um... I love that. I, love, I, love, I swear that one. It's, like, really popular. Everyone I know knows Ember's New Groove. Everyone you know. Mmm. You see, in your circle. <laughs> yeah, I haven't got that many people I know, to be honest. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you, Richard, Alex, Ray. That's about it. <laughs> That's the thing, Pe people that you know tend to have the similar sort of interest, strict personality, yeah. strict sense of humour, what have you, so... Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that, but no, it's just that's been one. That's always one of my favourite Disney ones. It's pro I don't know if it is my favourite. I've never thought that deep into it. It's only the but, funniest Disney film I've seen. Yeah, no, but it's 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 one of those that if you're thinking of <coughs> Disney animated films, it's one that always pops into your head, sort of thing. Another one of them is Aladdin with me. Mm. That's just cool. I can show you. <laughs> no, no uh, maybe just because of the genie. <laughs> yeah, it's Ron Williams, come on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's made me a bit sad now about no. Robin Williams. Well, I mentioned him earlier. But, oh, <laughs> yeah. we, we didn't look in between episodes to Popeye. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. After <laughs> this one. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Wait, is this yes. our fourth or our third? I've, I've asked this already. This is the fourth one now. Okay. Yeah. I can't remember our transition. <laughs> it's so quick. Oh. What are you saying? Um, the Emperor's New Groove. Yeah, yeah so it started definitely. off... They wanted to make this big epic film, but, they're, uh, you know, musical numbers written by Sting... It's similar to like the um, uh, the one about Moses, Prince of Egypt. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, but that turned out crap. Yeah, and as they were making the Emperor, it was going to be called Empire of the Sun. As they were making it, they realised it was going to be crap. So they they kept the basic premise of this spoiled prince and what have you, but completely rewrote it into, yeah, like a buddy comedy. Yeah. 
And that's what made it work. Mm, and they kept all the epic backgrounds and everything. Although sometimes you can notice there's like, um, some of the animation might be a little bit off because they kind of quickly rushed it out. Yeah. Well, the, the but they still, still kept all these great the voice story, actors. The storyline. Yeah. Well, yeah, voice actors. What mm. is it? The For people out there who don't know and hasn't watched it, the guy who does, Ku- not Kusko, what's... Cronk. Uh, Cronk, that's mm. him. Cronk's voice is Joe from Family Guy. Yeah. Uh, they had Eartha Kitt as well as the as the, the bad guy, mm. bad girl. <laughs> the, uh, um, Urs- Ursa, Ursula, Isma, Isma. Is it some kind of ma? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, and I think, I'm terrible with names anyway. I remember the film, <laughs> but names. Because uh, the thing I've always found about the Emperor's New Group as well is that the first fifteen or well, ten fifteen minutes are a bit slow. Mm. And then suddenly, with one when, scene, it gets really good and stays at that the, level where he becomes. Yeah. yeah, and don't want to give spoilers. Yeah. and I reckon. Well, come on, he's on the poster. Yeah, <laughs> I reckon yeah, he becomes a lot more. I reckon they must have kept the start from the original film and just put in a few jokes, and then the rest of it they rewrote. Okay, so that's yeah. I reckon that's why it changes, in my opinion. It did, yeah, it feels it does feel like it suddenly, mm. yeah, switches sort of thing. Yeah, definitely. I love it. Go watch that film. Could, definitely. Could, yeah. I, I quote it a lot, <laughs> but a lot of it just seems is just like in conversation. Yeah. So it's hard. It always really annoys me when you're having a conversation with someone and you quote something and they don't. They and they don't. Right. Yeah. I, because you can't then just go, oh, by the way, I was quoting this because it just <laughs> doesn't quite it make, work. It makes then, you look it? look <laughs> yeah. a bit up your own ass, sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> uh, well, this be... episode's nearly over. Yeah. <laughs> That was Emperor's New Groove review there with Christian four four four, or more more like Disney review. Yeah. With emphasis on the groove. Groove. What? That groove. One. Two. 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 Ding ding ding. Come on. Giggity. Three, four, three, 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 <laughs> Do you know what? I think I may have mentioned this before um, in one of the episodes, but I'm so blown away by it that it bears repeating. Um, did you ever wow, watch... How terrifying the t- <laughs> time oh, are. Are. Well, there is that, yeah. But um, did you ever watch Rosie and Jim? Of course I did. Yeah. So it was about two ragdolls who lived on this... Suddenly come to life. Boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, lived on a narrow boat. I always remember one episode where they got the boat stuck in some, like, muddy water or something, and... It got, like, embanked or something. I must have blocked that from my memory. Um, <laughs> you were saying? Too traumatic. Uh, yeah. Rosie and Jim. I went on a nostalgia trip uh, a few months ago and looked up a load of the intros to all these kids, show, <laughs> kids shows. Rosie and Jim, I never noticed, at the start, the guy who actually owns the narrowboat says, Hello, I'm a writer. I like to write stories about these two rag dolls and pretend they're real. So the entire the entire thing was a story by him, and he explains it at the start of the episode. And I you never know, remember. No, no, I didn't. I, didn't, I thought it was, they just came alive. Yeah, it was all a story by him. Mind fucking blown. I know. <laughs> Jesus. I suppose you probably don't care about that when you're there, do you? No. <laughs> you, you don't care much for framing devices. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh. It was all made up. It was all a dream. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say next, it's going to turn out that Thomas the Tank's all a dream of the fat controller. It's just <laughs> an obese slob in his house with like a drink, a cheeseburger, watching like a train documentary. <laughs> Mind you, have you read about how the uh, the Sodor Society is one of the most dystopian, horrific societies ever? No. Because all the trains are sentient. They're trapped on the tracks, and they're all slaves. That, that is, I've, I've um, always wondered about, I'm not, not as deep, but you've always thought, wait, but they can't, they're just stuck. And when, like, one of them gets, gets punished or something like that, they basically, like, they get trapped in a tunnel and everyone just goes, well, he deserves it and moves on. Yeah. <laughs> Some of them get sort of sold for scrap and melted down or something like that as well yeah. it's, well, I don't know if they get melted sen- down you never are, see them get melted down are, but they well, do just get dumped for scrap yeah and just get left but you see like the and they're sentient yards, creatures like, 
There's whole sort of <laughs> horror, that was in quotation marks, hmm. horror episodes which are in like abandoned train yards and stuff and it's just like all rotten trains. And it's all run by one man, Sir Topham Hatt. Fucking fat bastard. The, the fat dictator, more like. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, there, there's a reason they call him the Fat Controller. He's, con- he's in he, control. He's, he controls it, yeah. <laughs> he controls those trains. Jesus, I never thought about it like that. <laughs> That's fucking, like, creepy pasta shit, yeah. <laughs> I love all these creepy theories you can get with kids' shows. Yeah. Like, um, there's the Rugrats one, of I course. Like, she, Angelica's, like, made him up or something, or no, she's on drugs or something. Yeah, An- Angelica's... Uh, is some- it Angelica that's made up? It's something to do with, like, they, um... <laughs> I think it was... Yeah, look it up. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it. I swear it was, like, something to do with Angelica on drugs. I thought it was just her, the products of her deranged mind. Or, yeah, it was... Or, yeah. <laughs> what was the one to do with drugs, then? There was one where, like... It's probably different theories. It's, yeah. Um, drug rats. <laughs> creepy pasta. <clears throat> ding, ding, ding! <laughs> Jesus, that's not it, but that's fucking terrifying. Oh my god, it's like real life Rugrats for the benefit of the tape. Um. Good afternoon. <clears throat> ah, ooh. We'll end the episode here, it's time, it's time, but we'll just finish up with this. <laughs> yeah, we have to, uh... Angelica's demonic and un- unimaginable imagination. <laughs> Chucky died in 1986 along with his mother. That's why Chaz is a nervous wreck. That's the one, yeah. Tommy was born in 1988, but he was a stillborn. That's why Stu is constantly in the basement making toys for the son he never had. <laughs> <laughs> the Devils had an abortion in 1990. Oh, that's, yeah, yeah. Angelica couldn't figure out whether it was a boy or a girl thus creating twins. As for all grown up, the teenage Angelica became addicted to various narcotics which further aggravated her schizophrenia, bringing back her childhood and thus the creation she obsessed over. Uh, time lapse made her older, uh, taking hit, constantly taking hits of acid so she would never have to live without her creations. <laughs> Angelica's mum actually died of a heroin overdose in 82 and that's what her um, doll is meant to be or something. Uh, Cynthia. Yeah. It was made after... Oh, no, no, yeah. Um, Drew, in his depression, married a gold-digging whore <laughs> that Angelica idolised because she fooled herself into thinking it was her real mum, but always had a concept of her mum in the form of Cynthia, her doll. <laughs> uh, the only other rat, not to be fictional, however, he was unborn Tommy's brother, Dill. Uh, however, Angelica didn't know the difference between Dill and her creation, so she thought that was one of them. Uh, Kimmy. What? On a trip to Paris to find love, Chaz married a woman named Kira, um, who had a daughter named Kimmy that was torn from her because she was a cocaine addict. <laughs> Angelica imagined her from Kira's stories. He lost, he lost his mind after the death of his first wife, and was in denial that she was ever a prostitute. <laughs> uh, Susie was actually Angelica's only friend who entertained the thought of Angelica's creations for her sake spent, she, Angelica spent the last days of her life back in the school cafeteria imagining friends around her playing with the lives of her creations they, and there's a tweaked version here but I'm not going to go into that no. But anyway, <laughs> on that bombshell, uh, bomb it is time to end. That was quite the review. That, yeah, really. that was congratulations, congratulations, cre- creepy Winrar Rugrat review. Yes. There. <laughs> I'm going. Yeah, but uh, that's the end of the episode. I'm going to save and go, and we will see you next time. Bye. Cheerio. Don't have nightmares. <laughs>